I'm Ashley. I'm a voice coach. And today I am reacting. Sorry, I'm having breakup feelings because I'm pretty sure this is my last filming day for Black Friday. I mean, the line to the end is really close. The whole thing has 17 minutes. So I'm going to guess two numbers pretty close together. Not a lot of story left. So um, anyway, if y'all saw my last video it was Black Friday's If I Fail You which was sung by the great Dylan Saunders. Of course, I bawled my eyes out, so don't go watch that, but go watch it. <laughs> Storyline-wise, Lex brought Tim back to his senses. Tom. Tim Tom. <laughs> Angela's character brought Dylan Saunders' character back to his senses out of the hypnosis of Wiggly, and then now it's time to do what John said to do. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I have a new mic. <laughs> In case y'all are wondering what this fuzzy thing is, I'm trying something new. It's my brand new mic. I'm trying to amp up my quality. So let me know, guys, what you think about my new vocal quality. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's worse. Who's to say? You're to say. Let me know. failed you once, but I won't fail again. No, Tom. Listen to me. Tickle my belly wet. Stay asleep. Stay in drowsy town. You're not that cute, are you? In fact, you're real fucking ugly. <laughs> gone. Lex, I think I'm awake. But your sister and Becky, they took them. To Linda. She's gonna kill them, Mr. No, Jason. she won't. We won't let her. Here, you're holding that wrong. All right, let's go. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Should we move these boxes first? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I love that they added in the stage directions. Like, that was just a set. Should we move these boxes first? That's something an, a great improver would say when they're so comfortable in their improv skills and so comfortable on stage. Stage. There's no way that that was written in the script because when the script was written, they had no idea what the... They might have had some idea or some concept of what the stage was going to look like. So that was added in by our dear friend Angelo here. Angela. You know it's Angelo if you're a spash head like me. <laughs> and you... You little shit. For too long you have kept this shepherd from his flock. Ugh, magic cat, nothing can hurt me. <laughs> you little fool. You think this is going to protect you? <laughs> A magic hat. That's ridiculous. Only dolls are magic. <laughs> and I'll be taking mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> you. <laughs> Some kind of a joke? Some kind of a joke? Where is he? Answer me! Or I'll open your mouth with my fucking knife! Hey! Prophet, there! The god! Oh. Is this what you're looking for? He's radiant! He's beautiful! I haven't changed my mind, little girl. I still want you dead. <laughs> and I thought your sister was stupid! Coming into the lion's den completely outnumbered with a doll? You're a fucking moron! And you've been outfoxed by a fucking moron! Ah. Oh, back off! Let the kid go! Oh, the prophet! The blasphemer! You have no idea what you're doing. Everyone listen to me! This doll is not your god! It's not gonna fix your miserable lives! This cult of comfort is bullshit! If Wiggly is your god, then let him try and stop me from doing this! Oh, 
I hear his voice. I feel his power. I see his kingdom and his plans laid out for me. Oh, he's mine, mine, mine to follow his orders. Oh, he's mine, my monument to build. Oh. He will wiggle, wiggle, wiggly will wiggle tonight. Oh, he will wiggle, 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 wiggle his way into life. Okay, L Linda. Linda! Listen, Linda. Linda's doing so good here. That's the character's name. Her real name is Malfoy in A Very Potter Musical. And she's married to jo Lauren. Lauren Lopez. Oh my gosh, that was going to kill me, guys. I was going to fail you. And I didn't. I got it together. Normally, when I hear Lauren, I don't hear a ton of technique in her songs because she's a very comedic actress. And this is still done in a very comedic way, but it, it's so technical. She had to be cautious in the very beginning of this slower song, and then she's slowly adding in her more of a character voice. But it's really awesome that we're getting to see more technique from Lauren here. So I'm really loving that. I'm loving the hook back to the previous songs. Even the choreography is a, is a reminder of a Adore Me song. Y'all remember that? And I demand oh. your love and oh. worship too. And then she's the the wiggly song. She did this. She had a little bit of the line. So. And wiggle, wiggle, he'll wiggle, wiggle, he'll wiggle his way through life. He will wiggle, wiggle, wiggly will wiggle tonight. Man, they they are the writers and Jeff Blim are really good at at hooking back to things that we've already seen, especially in the beginning. You want that. To get kind of that bittersweet feel at the end of a show, you want to feel nostalgia. And even though we just watch it, it's a reminder of the past, which is still nostalgia, which is awesome. They're doing so good. And she's doing so good. I'm enjoying hearing a more serious voice from Lauren. Let's go, Linda. I will wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my way to his side And all will know when darkness comes over Wiggly's kingdom That I'm the one who wronged what's right My God always So there were some wrong notes here uh, Before you come at me, I know this cast was sick I can just, exp I, all I can do is explain to you and react to what I can hear I know that these guys are capable of more I promise you. So they are sick. Um, and that could be an issue with Lauren's uh, pitch issues here. Totally can affect that. Um, if you're all clogged up and congested from being sick, you're, you're, you could change the pitch because you're used to singing, hitting a note by moving your muscles one way. But if those muscles are clogged or those airways are clogged, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to struggle to hit different pitches. It's gonna take a lot more work, and she's got a lot of other stuff focusing on. And when you're in performance, the especially the end, the most important part is getting the message across, getting the story across. That's why we're here. We're here to see a story unravel with really fun song and dance, right? So order of importance, she's hitting it. She's hitting the money on the acting side. She's an amazing actress. She's a very comedic actress. Also, because she's such a great comedic act actress, if she misses a pitch or two, it's okay. It's forgiven by the audience in that moment because she's funny. It's kind of funny. So it, it works here. But just note that she's not on pitch for everything, but she's doing a fabulous job. Fabulous job. And it's really, it's really fun to see her deliver this contrast in one song, comedic yet kind of classical all in one. That's kind of Linda for you, isn't it? She's just a classic broad. A classic Karen. <laughs> a cyclopean gateway. A portal that ushers in all sounds and sights unseen. Oh, he's my, my God to love and to worship. Oh, it's my, my job to prepare for his birth 
Okay. I really do love this though. She's having to be so soft here and gentle to give off this kind of eerie vibe, right? She's doing a really good job. And I love how she's smile, mine, mine, something, something to birth. I'm getting like early nineties, like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, but it's like, I'm in the studio. I'm getting that kind of vibe. Yeah, it's mine, 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 mine. Something about birth. <laughs> it's really fun. That's just, side note, it's a vibe I'm getting. He will wiggle, wiggle, wiggly will wiggle tonight. Whoa! Side. All the plans he has for you and me, me more favorably, the earth is looking good and ripe. So interesting, like the, the decisions she's making with her voice. I mean, the fact that she can go from a darker sound to a bright sound like that. Th this is why I, I always say I actually work with a, a voice actor and he always struggles with his singing voice. And I'm so confounded because if you can control your speaking voice, you should have control over your singing voice. I think I've come to the conclusion that a lot of confidence ha is happened there. Of course, there's a lot of technique and stuff in singing. Um, it's different you know, when you have to take away that character voice and be like a serious singer. So if you're used to hiding behind this comedic mask, um, you might, if you take away the comedic mask, I can see being a little doubtful in your voice. So, but anyway, that's something that's always in, itched my curiosity. And um, I've always kind of paid attention to so for a character actor, she's, she has control over her voice. Like she's doing impressive things with her voice that a serious singers that are not actors find this difficult to add grit and stuff to their voice. Like if you're a classically trained singer straight out of choir, they might find this difficult. So it really does just depend on what your background is, where you've come from. But um, I just wanted to point that out and point out that she went from this really I'm singing properly this creepy song. It's, uh, I almost went into a Christmas tune. That's funny. <laughs> God rest ye merry gentlemen. And was that the inspo for this song? I don't think so. But that's funny that maybe it is. Who knows? Who knows? But so, and she went there. And then when she was trying to make a, she's either prepping to sing something high. And so she brightened her voice. I honestly think it was just a comedic choice here. Um, but she wiggly, wiggly, da, na, 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 na. maybe she wasn't confident. So she made a character in this section. Maybe she wasn't confident in this section. So she turned it into a comedic bit here. I don't know, but interesting to know. We will build a portal just for when Wiggly comes, when Wiggly comes, when Wiggly comes. It is based on. I accidentally was right. I did that on accident, y'all, because I'm not familiar with the song. So when I tried to sing it back to you, I just like pulled out of my memory bank and it was Christmas. But this you cannot deny. Hark how the bell sweets of a bell soul seem to say throw a kiss away. Christmas. And I think the re reason that is because Christmas is typically a religious holiday. And this is supposed to be kind of like a religious to wiggly type thing. So that is crazy that I found that out. So I wonder, I'm still curious as to why she picked that bright tone though. So let's go back just a second and build into that because I talked a lot. Wiggle, 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 wiggle my way to his side. All the plans he has for you and me, me more favorably, the earth is looking good and ripe. We will build a portal just for and she did, we will. So maybe she did prep for that. We will build a portal for something. <laughs> you know what? Because y'all told me to. I turned the subtitles on. <laughs> what is she saying? You and me, me more favorably. The earth is looking good and ripe. We will build a portal just for. 
hard which she just did super cool the beginning was really nice and unified but note wise pitch wise she's she's building up da, 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 da. when you're stair stepping like that it's easier to move through your registers we've talked a lot about that because apparently jeff likes to make lots of jumps in his songs he just does well he built 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 and then he went back and uh went back to the tonic which is like we're in the key of C, our tonic of our key is C. So like the root of the chord, the root of the key, the tonic, all of these apply to the bass level where we started. So we do, that's where we're, that's our bass, right? We've established that. Do, 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 do. So she, he has Linda's character, Linda coming down to the base and then jumping back up and there's some jumps there, maybe some jumps in building, but that's really hard because she's starting to work through her vo vocal register and you can see as she reaches that resisting point of her chest voice. Sorry if you can hear the dogs. I I live in suburbia. Sorry, I got distracted there from barking dogs. I have no idea what I was saying. Something about jumps. Jeff Blim makes writes a lot of jumps, so we're moving quickly through her voice registers now, so it's interesting watching the, the vocal choices that she has to make as she reaches the top of her chest voice where a flip should happen, but she's trying to maintain the tone that she's already established. When he comes, he'll come for us. When he comes, he'll come immortal. Through the portal oh, 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 oh. Jam! The Sith and s- The Sith and s- The Sith and s- The Sith and s- The Sith the synthesizers are popping in. It's really fun, and it brings us back to our 80s fun vibes. <laughs> Welcome to the 80s fun vibes! <laughs> I'm Ashley Kennedy. I'm your host for this evening. <laughs> damn. So, captions said dance, or I'm pretty sure they said jam. Oh, no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's why captions are important. I don't know. Really funny, though. I'm loving the... Again, very choral, hallelujah-type vibes, like angels in, in the clouds. Really interesting. Wiggle, 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 wiggly will wiggle, wiggle tonight. tonight. That's how I feel like it was supposed to be sung. I think, wiggle my... She was questioning the way. The song, I feel like I'm I'm not bashing it. I'm just vocally analyzing, music director analyzing what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a blast. It's so fun. On the wheels that he will have to bend oh, When he oh, says The best of all when he wins We will build a portal just for we will build Okay, yay! A lot of fun stuff ha happening here. If you didn't catch it, they will build a portal for when he comes. He being Wiggly. What is happening with my camera? Excuse me. So a lot of fun stuff is happening here. So I had predicted two more things. An ensemble number and chaos. I wouldn't know... If I wouldn't necessarily call this chaos. I think the chaos is about to happen. Uh, so, but we did get our ensemble number, right? So, 
check that off. So yeah, exciting stuff happening. I'm ready to see the end. Sorry. It's hard for me to say anything more about this number besides there's a lot of fun stuff happening. Oh, I really love the ensemble stuff. I really love the, I think that was like all guys. I think the girls scoot doodled and then it was all guys singing in this number, which was really cool because we got a lot of wiggly do, 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 do. and having Linda's voice carry over that like an angel to follow was really, really cool. So I liked that. I loved hearing Jeff float up on the top of the the heart on the top harmonies again that's always really fun he's a great filler and he knows what he wants there as the music composer that's always fun i also really liked his um as he they were doing the wiggly stuff oh i hit you i'm sorry they were doing the wiggly stuff and he like brushed his hair back because he's so cool oh, he will wiggle, 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 wiggle his way <laughs> it's hard for me to think about anything else with this song because i'm just so excited to see the end so with that in mind, check out my next video. <laughs> hey, and if you wanna see that, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell because they will be it will be out quickly after this video and you don't wanna miss it. Well, and I will sing with you soon. I'll sing with you very soon. Okay, bye.